So what we're trying to do is essentially say, hey, you have a business idea, uh, whatever the industry space, uh, whether it be technology for you know, online uh, website design, whether it be technology for women's clothing or, or everybody's clothing or food or, or oil production, how do you essentially develop your idea to make sure that it's investment consumable? You know, how do you pitch correctly? How do you design your prototype? How do you, you know, develop your business model? How do you make sure that investors are interested in what you have to say? And that's what we focus on doing uh, for startups. We try to make sure that they have the right tools, the right training, and the right, you know, I guess, uh, confidence to make sure that their business uh, gets heard. Investment. <laughs> Investments and branding, uh, and uh, also knowing who your target is. I think you know you get so passionate that you you just sort of forget you know who are you targeting. And when you're talking with your investors, you also get so passionate that you forget how do you pitch. And I think a lot of startups, you know, they have a great idea, but they don't know how to sell it. And this is why our focus is also on training uh, startups on how to sell their ideas. It's a difficult thing, I think, to, to navigate because sometimes when we ask for funding, we're, we're not sure if we should go the charity, uh, the charity uh, perspective, like, oh, we're trying to develop women, or we should go, hey, you know, this is good for you, you know, you're going to get so and so amount back if you were to invest in us because we are investing your investment to make your investment bigger. And, and I think that a lot of the conversation now that, you know, companies want to hear is how can our investment triple? And, and that's what everyone cares about, I, I guess. Uh, and yes, of course, we all care about the social responsibility aspect of it, but even still, I think more people are interested in having a conversation that's lucrative. When I was a sustainability intern, uh, my first uh, sustainability internship at Aramac, at the University of West Georgia in, in the United States, was essentially me coming into the school where Sustainability was just not a conversation that they were having. You know, the lights are on, you know, 24-7 at Starbucks. We had the Starbucks inside the library where the music was just on all the time. And, and there's just so many things that could be done there. We had coffee grounds that didn't go through any composting. They were not given to the gardeners to, you know, to use as fertilizers. And there were just, you know, there were so many practices. And when I would go in there, I had, I, I just felt pain, you know, and I would cry in there and I would tell the director, you have to understand you know, we have to be more sustainable. It's good for the environment. If you were to give this compost to the, the gardeners, they could use it for this. And, and if you were to turn off the light, it's, it's so much more sustainable. And he didn't want to listen to me because I was not talking business. You know, what they wanted to hear me say was with confidence why they really should turn off the light. And when I started to tell them, hey, when you turn off the light for 20 minutes a day, in a year you're going to save 2.3 billion, they stopped and they said, you know, let's do that. Let's turn off the light. And when I told them, hey, you should invest $100,000 in a pulp. A pulp is for you essentially to put all the foods that's wasted from the dining service into a grinder that just essentially reduces it to the smallest that it can be before it goes to compost. And this essentially saves you a lot of money because then you're not filling up the trash and you don't have to get so many trash cans and then you don't have to have the trash can picked up all the time. And when I told them, okay, hey, by the way, right now, we are paying 100 or 10,000 to this trash people. If we were to pull this, we will save 5,000 on a monthly basis. That's so much better than your $100,000 investment of once. And they said, you know, let's get a pulp. And today, actually, I'm very proud to tell you they have a pulper. They do grind, they do take the coffee grinds to get fertilizers. And they certainly have a garden where they take tomatoes to cook at the dining. And, uh, and this is something that really I learned, you know, the hard way. And, but it's really so productive for me today because, you know, when you're talking about social change, you have to remember that there's always usually uh, an income benefit. And if you can manage to marry those two together, you have a, a, a higher chance of, of being listened to or being heard than if you were just to talk about how great it would be to, you know, to do this.